As we've discussed before, it looks like Harry and Meghan are indeed set to divorce and Meghan is trying to force King Charles to pay so she can set the poor prince free. And of course, a lot of people are really upset by this news. The history of the royal family has been to pay the necessary funds to finally resolve a dispute instead of taking something to court in the media. And until Meghan arrived, I really understood all of that. She needed someone to take care of her, should never have let her bring up her wedding date so soon or go against the Queen's wishes regarding her wedding dress. That messy hair not wearing pantyhose. I suspect that if someone had stopped her in the beginning, she would have given up and quit or at least figured out that she couldn't get away with the games she tries to play. So after a big, lavish wedding worth $1 million worth of clothes and travel expenses, and a whole lot of embarrassment and cruelty to the royal family now, Meghan is expecting a big paycheck. Wonders dot they never stop, right? I don't even want to think about the moral of this disgusting story. I mean, what would little girls learn when they heard about this story? If the palace chooses to do the right thing by going public with the bowling report first and admitting what they know and have always known about the invisible children, then let's see what happens. But if the king decides to pay Meghan, I think a compromise needs to be found, any prosecutor needs to be both ways, the British royal family also needs an NDA for Meghan and please, more books, more movies, more docu-series. And if Meghan says one thing, then I think the gloves should do it. The world hears every little thing. The whole story of his life is the lot and if Harry can overcome this fiction if he ever remarries, if he can produce his first legitimate child then where will that child sit in the line of succession? Now, I don't think the royal family gives it enough thought, the truth will come out and with Charles's weakness it will show the invisible children scam for what it really is. I mean, whatever they don't exist, they use substitutes, whatever. Now there is something wrong. Harry can claim that Meghan cheated on him or blackmailed him. Anything, perhaps he can argue that it's all the fault of mental illness. He'll have to stay low in the UK though, at least because his approval rating is in the gutter at this point and I don't think he'll come back easily from what I have an idea. Perhaps the two disgraced princes, Andrew and Harry, could share a cottage somewhere in the countryside. As for the royals, well, it's easy for them to say they didn't come out with Meghan and Harry's lies because of the consequences. I suspect they didn't reveal Meghan and Harry's deception because they were concerned about Harry's sanity, what was supposed to have come out, maybe by accident, maybe on purpose. And if Meghan twists things to make it look like Harry just walked away from the fake kids, it will make him look like a cold, indifferent dad. You know what they say. The truth will set you free, and I think it's time for Harry to tell the truth and I really hope he doesn't give in to Meghan's greedy ways. I think everything was planned from the start to bring him more money, after all, that's all he cares about. Well, that and fame, but I don't know when we'll hear the last word from her. I don't think Charles will get rid of her very easily unless they arrest him. Using legal methods with tight locks on his mouth. Megan will always be a threat, pound 100 000 000 will never be enough for her, that's how she'll spend it. Question I'll be right back. I think it would actually be better if Charles just insisted that they had to produce the babies, it's time to rip that bandage off and we can finally move on. It seems that Charles is a bit naive here. He may be enjoying popularity right now, but when the truth starts to come out, he will be tainted with a great loss of respect for people because people will realize that they have been duped, and that King Charles was involved in it, and then his dear boy learned absolutely nothing. It was backed up again. I think. And I don't think Williams will be very happy about it. But then, in a few years, he's obviously going to make the decisions and Harry probably won't be very happy about that, surely the king won't give him any money. I mean, Harry is the husband after all. And it must be Harry paying for her divorce settlement. The truth is that no parent is legally obligated to pay for their children's divorce. And why should it be so, another thing is that the monarchy exists by the will of the people and better than Charles. The public will not tolerate a $1 million settlement to a little girl like Meghan. As a general rule, Members of the royal family have never signed prenuptial agreements. 
Meghan will get what she is entitled to from Harry's assets and not a penny more. Charles is a very rich man, but at the same time he is not infinitely rich, every penny he has is carefully accounted for, and even the royal family are notoriously cash-strapped for the above reasons. So no, the king doesn't need to repay. Meghan, it would always go away eventually and most of us realize that from the start it's Harry's mess to deal with. I can assure you that most royals would hate to see her repaid and there is actually another reason why Harry and the rest of the family are desperate to get rid of her once and for all. Meghan is nothing but trouble and will keep causing trouble if she doesn't get what she wants, she extorts him with this lie about the invisible K who indulges in this lie by paying her to divorce Harry and if she really believes an NDA is going to force her to shut up and that's really naive because she can't help herself, she has to leak information and talk about others the only leverage he has after all. Or at least he thinks he did. Harry was the one who wanted to jump into Meghan Markle's spit and play with it, throwing dirt all over her family. And now, as always, it looks like Harry will be cleaned up and cleaned up by someone else. He is almost 40 years old and seems to have learned absolutely nothing during all these years, I think eventually the truth will come out and make the king look bad and Meghan knows she's wanted to destroy the monarchy all this time and she's going to play it for all it's worth. I suspect that was already the case the last time I checked. Harry was also a grown man when he decided to marry her. The truth about children must come out at this rate. Harry will never talk about responsibility for the consequences, why do they keep treating him like he's a little boy? All this to cover up his bad behavior must prevent the British people from deserving to know the truth, especially after the way they both insulted the monarchy and sold the intelligence of the people of the UK, K, and all Commonwealth for both of them. Are filthy balls and will do anything to make money besides obviously working at Harry's age. If he still can't learn from all of this, then when will he start learning? I mean, he insulted his grandparents, his father, his brother, and anyone he might have hurt with his baseless ugly accusations. But he was the one who stood there and allowed IT.so if you ask me, Harry deserves everything that happens to him. Meghan Markle is not alone in all of this. Harry is there with her. He provided most of the nonsense they threw at the royal family. Harry has always been a little asshole, I mean, none of you are here to watch it grow. You created this cute prince character. Obviously a lot of money was paid to try to fix his image and repair his reputation in order to find excuses and cover up his horrible behavior. His drunken bar fights and drug antics are all there. He fired, even beat bar owners, would have destroyed their property. Charles had to shell out millions to silence many of these people and replace their properties. And Meghan, all this time, She's only used Harry for fame and fortune. Everyone knows he just let Harry take off his mask and show who he really is. She really isn't to blame for anything other than fueling her already jealous hatred of her family for not getting what she wanted, believe all the dirt the security services have hidden on Meghan should be exposed. Let that document on bullying come out and let the invisible kid's scam be exposed for whatever. Take her downstairs and take Harry with him. Will Carrie be accepted by the public as a royal again, primarily because of all the pain she caused Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip during their final years on this earth? Let the two spin for themselves.